written in stone. It can't be changed. And it makes very clear what is the obstacle to a settlement. The obstacle is Israel, backed by the United States, opposes a two-state settlement on the basis of international law. But let's remember that Israel offered a two-state solution in 1948, 1967, 1994, 2000, 2001. They came very close to 2001. 2005, 2007. The vast majority of Israeli people. Israel's a democracy. I quite agree with Professor Dershowitz, at least for Jewish Israelis, for Jewish Israelis, it's a democratic country. And they democratically elected the ultra-right-wing government. I'm not now going to go into a long disquisition on the history of the so-called peace process. But I would ask your listeners, if they have the time, patience, and interest, to just Google what's called the peaceful settlement of the question of Palestine. And that's a General Assembly resolution that comes up every single year for decades. And it calls for that two-state settlement on the June 1967 border, and it calls for a peaceful settlement on the basis of international law. Now, if you look at the voting record every single year, it's the whole world including the state of Palestine on one side, supporting a two-state settlement on the basis of international law, and on the other side opposing, it's the United States, Israel, and usually some South Pacific atolls like Tuvalu, Nauru, and Micronesia and the Marshall Islands. That record is 